Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and this video is about the ordinary Aslake acid suspension 10% and what you should and should not use in the same routine when also including it into your skincare routine. Now I do want to quickly emphasize that I purchased all the products with my own money and that I've been using the ordinary products for around let's say nearly two years where I tried different combinations, different routines as well as also tested some uh, like before and afters to see if the product actually works. And based on that knowledge, as well as what The Ordinary recommends and the research that I looked into, I have come up with the different combinations which I want to share with you, what you should avoid, as well as what you can use together. So that you also will get the best experience possible when also using the different Ordinary products in your skincare routine. Now, the first one also leads me to what you should not use in the same routine. This is also one part that The Ordinary does not recommend either. And this is also using The Ordinary peptides in the same routine with The Ordinary as Lake Acid Suspension. Please avoid this combination, not because it can lead to skin irritation, but mainly to get also most out of both products, so that you also will get the best experience. Now in this case, as you can see, this would be a routine which you should not use together. However, this doesn't mean that you can't use those products at all. Like if you have, for example, I will go with the Buffett example. If you have, for example, Buffett at home, as well as as like acid suspension at home, and you want to use both of them to really make sure that you get both benefits, I recommend using them in different routines. So this can be alternate days or one in the morning and the other one in the evening. You can use, for example, Buffett in the morning or evening in this case, as well as as like acid suspension in the morning or evening. As long as you're going to keep them separate, everything is fine and you also will get those benefits from those two products. So this is what I generally would recommend with all the other examples that you know will see what you should not use in the same routine. Keep them separate. That's how simple you can keep it. And this is also one thing that I can advise. Now, as you just saw, the first example is with the peptides and as like acid, do not use them in the same routine. Another example that I want to give you is also do not use the ordinary um, granactive retinoids or their retinols in the same routine when using the ordinary as like acid suspension. This is more so about the skin irritation depending on your skin tolerance and also mainly the feeling since as like acid suspension has a cream like texture which is very silicone like. You may come across peeling if you would combine them and you also may would come across skin irritation. So again, the best option would be to also use them in different routines. In this case, you could, for example, use again as like acid in the morning and your retinoid or retinol in the evening. Now, another product that I do not recommend mixing with as like acid suspension is the ordinary 100% niacinamide powder. Please do not mix them together to also make sure that you also will get most out of each product. Mix the ordinary niacinamide, for example, with hyaluronic acid. That's a great combination, but also keep them separate. Now I want to talk about what you should avoid because this can really lead to skin irritation and it also depends on your skin tolerance. Some people can use them together, whereas others uh, experience severe skin irritation. So therefore, if you are new to the ordinary products, I do not recommend using them in the same routine. And I'm talking about ordinary leave-on exfoliating acids like the AHA and BHA. And I gave you the example right here. Please do not use the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution with as like acid because both of them kind of exfoliate the skin. Like glycolic acid does for sure exfoliate the skin, as like acid does it too, but a little bit differently. So if you have already a little bit more sensitive skin after you have used the glycolic acid toning solution, you may not want to use another acid on top. So therefore, to minimize the skin irritation, I do not recommend using them in the same routine, but use them separate or alternate days. Then the same also would be when using the ordinary peeling solution, since it also includes 30% of AHA as well as 2% of BHA and the salicylic acid 2% mask. So those are also two products from the ordinary that I do not recommend using in the same routine when using the ordinary as lake acid suspension. 
Again, keep them separate to make sure that no skin irritation occurs. Now another strong kind of acid, not because it's an exfoliating acid, but because it is an acid on its own, is also the pure and ethylated forms of vitamin C. Now since vitamin C is already a little bit stronger for some people already on its own, because it can lead to stinging or burning if you have like a really sensitive skin, I do not recommend using azelaic acid and the pure and ethylated forms um, of vitamin C in the same routine. Please keep them separate to avoid stinging, burning or getting redness also all over your face. So if you're new to those two products, use them separate. Some people may be able to tolerate it when using them together. However, I do not recommend it if you're new to the ordinary products. Now the other one, which is also an antioxidant that's quite strong, I do not recommend using the ordinary EUK134 in the same routine when using the ordinary azelaic acid suspension. Again, please make sure to also use them in separate routines. Now I want to go over with what you can use to ordinary as lake acid suspension and those depending also on the products you're choosing, this can be an AM or PM skin routine. And I want to get started with the ordinary hydrators and oils. Now you can use the ordinary as lake acid suspension with any of the ordinary oils or hydrating serums. This also includes the amino acid, hyaluronic acid, marine hyaluronics, as well as their natural moisturizing factors. And I also prepared an example routine for you, which you can see right here, where I gave you an example that you would, for example, use marine hyaluronics and amino acids in the same routine when using the ordinary azelaic acid suspension. If you would use this routine in the morning, don't forget your sunscreen. If you would use it in the evening, there's no sunscreen needed. Now, in case you are now wondering, well, can I use the ordinary natural moisturizing factors in the same routine when using the ordinary azelaic acid suspension? Yes, you can. That's not a problem. However, this also may depend on your skin. Some people, let's say if you have a little bit more of a drier skin, you may want to include a moisturizer within this skincare routine, which can be used before or after the ordinary azelaic acid suspension, whatever feels the best for you on your skin. However, generally speaking, I do not recommend using a moisturizer in the same routine when using the azelaic acid suspension, since both have a cream-like texture and it may feel a little bit weird on the skin. So that's my personal preference. I like to skip the moisturizer when I'm including azelaic acid in my skincare routine to make sure that it also feels good on the skin. So this is like a tip that I can share with you if you want to come up with a routine like this. Now I also want to talk about ordinary more molecules, which also includes alpha butene, the caffeine solution, as well as niacinamide. And this could be a very effective skin routine if you have like dark spots, which can occur after pimples, which are a little bit more red or red brownish, um, to also neutralize it, to make it a little bit more even with the rest of your skin tone. And you could also, for example, use a routine like this. You use your alpha butin, your niacinamide, and then the azelaic acid suspension. And then if you're using it in the morning, don't forget your sunscreen, since you don't want to make the dark spots worse. So protect your skin when also in, like applying your sunscreen on your face. And then also the rest of the ordinary antioxidants, which also includes pygnogenol as well as resveratrol and ferulic acid. Those two are fine to also use in the same routine when using the ordinary azelaic acid suspension which can be very anti-aging like. It also can help you to brighten and even out your skin tone a bit more. So if those are your skin concerns, you are suffering from like the loss of skin elast elasticity, this could also be a very good combination when also using your pycnogenol as well as the azelaic acid suspension in combination. So using an antioxidant in this routine is possible too. Now I want to go over the ordinary vitamin C derivatives. Now the ordinary vitamin C derivatives are mostly also targeting to, to brighten the skin, which can be very effective when also including the ordinary azelaic acid suspension into the routine as well, since both are also brightening products. And I'm talking about the ascorbyl glucoside solution, the ascorbyl tetraisopalmitate solution, as well as the magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. Now, in this case, what's really important to understand is that they have three different formulations. 
So if you want to include more than one serum in your skincare routine, it is important that you also know how you can properly layer them, which I will get into in just a moment. Now here you can see also the first example routine, which can also be very beneficial, not only for anti-aging benefits, but also to brighten overall your skin tone. And this could also be using the glucoside solution, which is a water-based vitamin C derivative, and then used as like as uh, acid suspension on top. Again, this could be a morning or evening skincare routine, depending also on your preference. Now another one is also using the oil, which is a tetraisopalmitate. This is a vitamin C derivative oil formulation. So you have to keep in mind that this is an oil to also think about the different formulations when it comes to the layering process. And then again, I used as lake acid suspension on top. And then lastly, this is more like of an, hmm, let's say it still works, but it's a bit more of a weird example routine, but I do still want to emphasize it and also want to share it with you because you're fine to use them in the same routine. However, if this would be my routine, I would keep them separate since they both have a cream-like texture. So it's similar to the moisturizer. The magnesium oscobel phosphate has also a cream-like texture, which is a little bit thicker, as well as the ordinary as lake acid suspension has a similar texture. So you can use them in the same routine if that's something that feels also great on your skin. However, for me personally, I would keep them separate just because of how it would feel on the skin. But that's of course personal preference, but it still also works. Now, another combination that I wanna share with you, which can also be very effective, and this is also using the ordinary as lake acid suspension after strong acid cleansers. This combination works since you're washing off the cleanser. So, you may remember that with the leave on exfoliating acids, I recommended to keep them separate because it can lead to skin irritation. However, when using an, um, as like an acidic cleanser, you're going to rinse it off. So then the story is a little bit different. So I want to give you an example with, for example, the Ordinary Inkis List, which includes 2% of salicylic acid. Also, the La Roche-Posay Ifaclar Micro Peeling Gel Wash includes also 2% of salicylic acid or the SkinCeuticals LHA cleanser, which includes a mix of 12% of different acids. So you can use them in the same routine when washing it off. Now you also find to use it with lower strength exfoliating acids cleanser that nearly include not a lot, like let's say to 0.5. That's kind of like the maximum that they usually also include in their cleansers. And you have, for example, the Crocs Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. You have the CeraVe Renewing Cleanser, like the SA Renewing Cleanser, as well as the Crocs Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser. Those are example cleansers that do include salicylic acid, but there's not a lot of it in it. So you also find you also use them in the same routine, since again, you're washing it off. And as lake acid is not, you can't combine, or like you can, um, you can say that as lake acid is the same than the other AHA or BHA acids. It works a little bit differently. So in this case, using them together is also a great combination if you have one of those cleansers at home. So here you can basically see with what combinations you can also use it to also have a very effective skincare routine, as well as what you also should avoid to um, like have less skin irritation, to also have a better feeling about your skin, but still also have an effective skincare routine. And this is also what I wanted to demonstrate and share, you, or share with you with those examples so that you also can understand it while looking at those example skincare routines. Now, if you want to know more about how you can set up a skincare routine when using different um, ordinary products or maybe from different brands, I have a video for you after this video right here, as well as if you want to see the application of as like acid, as well as an example routine, which I'm doing on myself on my own face, I can also link you the video at the end of this video. So if you want to know more about how to set up a skincare routine, as well as the application, then keep on watching after this video. Now this is what I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.